Hello and welcome to Scots United, where I, Scott, and my team of Scots, who are also me, bring you the latest in movies, television, and popular culture. So, let's start it off with a film. Let's start it off with a clown. Hey, Scott. So I saw It, Chapter 2. So you don't have to. Ew. I mean, it's long. It's, it's long, long. It's like almost three hours long. So when you go to the theater, you have to sit through the commercials and the trailers, you're going to be there for three hours and change. So what happened? It just felt, I don't know, very paint by numbers to me. Like, you know, they assemble the losers back. They kind of reacquaint themselves with Derry with what happened to them. And it's like, okay, now you need to have a, a nostalgic moment. Now you do, now you do, now you do. And you just sort of like, okay, his turn, his turn, his turn, her turn. Because there's just the one female, obviously. And no one's... Bad, but Bill Hader is a highlight. I appreciated him, and the guy that plays Eddie. They had a good chemistry. That maybe they could have taken further. Um, Jessica, Jessica Chastain's always, you know, great. I'm not a big McAvoy fan. He's fine, but even him, you know, they give everybody their moment, and then they have to give him another one because he's a bigger star, I guess, to go to the the Howl of Mirrors at the carnival, and it's like. Why? Like, how didn't we actually just see a Hall of Mirrors thing in uh, Us, right? And now we have another Hall of Mirrors? And it's just, I don't... I, and it's unnecessary. It does nothing to advance the plot, really. I don't think it really was a necessary scene. That movie was too long. Too long. And it should have been shorter. And even at the end, I mean, spoiler, you know, they, they defeat Pennywise... Well, thanks for ruining it. The the chamber they're in, underground, sort of, has to collapse and they have to run away. It's like, we don't need another running scene, another chase scene, another, another CGI scene. There was already too much CGI as it was. We just needed, like, the ending. We needed the ending. We needed it to end and wrap up. And there were some tender moments and some good stuff and some, some funny, lighthearted moments. But honestly, just like remembering the beloved miniseries that happened in the 90s, the kids are just more fun to watch, they're more interesting, and the adults just quite, can't quite capture that same magic and energy. Maybe because it's kids up against this monster, it's just more intense and dramatic than full-grown adults? I'm not sure. So see it if you want, see it when it comes to, you know, video on demand or whatever, but uh, I don't know. Three hours. Okay, so not great. Home viewing, maybe. Not everything can work. And as I recall, even the miniseries didn't really have a, that satisfying of an ending, and maybe the book didn't either, so maybe there's just no real ending to this thing that really works, unless you change it. Uh, I don't know. And now, TV and HBO. Hey, Scott, so guess what's back? The Deuce. Should I do, like, a poop joke? I just I don't really want to... It's that HBO show. Now, it started out in the 70s, and it was when Times Square was really a shithole, and, you know, uh, prostitution was happening. And then we kind of saw the, the, the birth of pornography at the end of season one. Season two was really like the heyday of pornography when really it became, you know, kind of an art form almost. And when you had, like, you know, Deep Throat debuting, and, and really it became this, this thing. And now we're in season three, again, jumping a few years in, in advance, uh, jumping a few years ahead. And now we have sort of home video coming in to kind of ring the death knell and change and pull porn out of art. Plus we have the AIDS crisis and just what's happening in New York, kind of the, the transformation of Times Square heading towards where it is now. So it's a fascinating show. Lots of levels. And, you know, HBO doesn't really misstep often, and it's created by the guys that uh, brought you The Wire and other fantastic shows. I mean, these these are some great creators, great directors, performers. Uh, Maggie Gyllenhaal leads the cast. She's one of the producers. Um, and, you know, in, in reading articles and watching interviews, I really respect the show because it does treat sex work and pornography and drug abuse and all that was happening, you know, at that, that time, very 
honestly and authentically, they really have worked to create a, a, a set, you know, in an environment where everyone is comfortable because there is a lot of nudity and sexual content. And I just think, and they also really wanted, you know, uh, women and men's pro point of views both. How so? They didn't want the, the nudity uh, to be gratuitous or to favor one gender or the other. They wanted it to be honest. And I think that the show has really uh, accomplished that. And honestly had a lot to say about sort of the changing norms and mores of American society through New York from this, you know, from the mid 70s to the mid 80s. Um, a lot did change um, and it's emotional and it's historic and it's interesting and it's controversial and provocative and it's all those things and that's the deuce in a nutshell. So even if it's really, you know, seems a little seamy, a little seedy for you, it's such a great show. It's so well performed and I believe this is the last season. So I think it'll be an interesting uh, to see how they kind of round it out, end it and uh, show us something really fantastic. So the deuce, always well done. Always with social commentary, always with an interesting lens to look at history and, and America and New York. So, you know, if you haven't checked it out, catch up, watch it now. It's good stuff. And in closing, tonight, actually right now, is the final episode of American Ninja Warrior. And supposedly we're going to get a new winner this season. It's going to happen. I'm excited. You're excited. Maybe we'll recap next week. I think maybe we should. So I hope you're watching, and, uh, you know, it's only happened once, and now it'll happen twice. You gotta love it. Have a great week.